Some comments today from Steve Soika at the city council meeting about campaign reform. Um, that's pretty much it, other than one other thing I'd like to bring up, Mr. Mayor. I'm going to ask for a council concurrence on this, if, if possible. I'd like to uh, talk about campaign finance reform. I know that uh, we're, uh, first of all, we're going to be dealing with the code of ethics, and I think we put that up, originally we were set to deal with that uh, next Monday, the uh, 15th, and uh, we're going to put it off till we, we're in the process, let me back up and say we're in the process of hiring a new city attorney. Our city attorney, David Hirsch, who's served us very well for all these years, is retiring, and we wish you the very best, David. Um, but in that process, we thought it would probably be more appropriate to put this um, item of code of ethics off until we get that new city attorney, and that would be something that we can work together and have a debate uh, to see where we are with the, the code of ethics. I'd also like to bring up the campaign finance reform, because obviously there's been some things that happened this last election cycle that I think we need to take a serious look at. And I'll back up by giving some history about uh, a few years back, we were all, most of us were part of that campaign finance reform. And the reason why it came to us in the first place is because we had a couple council members that had big checks written to their campaign accounts from Texas. And we thought, well, this probably isn't right. I think they were $5,000 each. Um, we thought, okay, that's kind of what's Texas have to do with local city, city, local city valley city council race. And we thought, you know, do we really want that in these kind of campaigns? Um, so we thought there was a, another side of that debate. The other side of that debate was, well, we want to try to make it a level playing field for challengers to be able to go up against incumbents. And if incumbents can go and get that kind of money, um, that really kind of skews the whole political process. So we came up with a new campaign finance reform. We set limits at $1,000 each. And it seems to be, and I won't call them loopholes, but it seems to be when we have certain businesses that are giving up to $8,000 on a local city campaign uh, to a local city uh, candidate, um, that's kind of going against what the intent of that reform was. Um, and that's just my opinion. And I thought if we could, maybe we could wrap this up with the Code of Ethics and, and again, have this an issue to deal with with our new city attorney. Um, I understand I need council concurrence on that. But that's something that I'd like to do. I don't know what the answer is. I have some ideas. I'm going to hold that off to see if we do have concurrence. And if we do, then we can debate that at that time. But I think it's something that we need to do um, because I think our, our community is concerned when they see something like this. And, and I think it uh, sheds a light on this community that I, I don't think is appropriate. And I think that we need to deal with this. And so that being said, Mr. Mayor, I'm looking for concurrence on us debating this campaign finance reform. Well, I think uh, anything like that is worth discussing. However, what I would suggest is that we separate the two issues and not deal with them together. There was a code of ethics in one uh, issue, and then a separate to get into the specifics of campaign reform on the other, rather than try to do it all say You will know, different evenings. Of the Let's first. do it on different evenings. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Different evenings. And even under the new, uh, we're going to do it still with the same, with the new attorney coming yeah, I, that's, I guess that's yeah. my whole purpose of saying yeah. we're together. That I just think that both of them obviously are going to be, we should deal with the new city attorney. Because then we can all sit down and have that, I think it would be healthy to have that debate. You know, because there's sides of the issues that I've talked to a few people that, and they brought up things that I didn't think about. You know, and what's that other side of the issue? When you do some kind of campaign finance reform, sometimes there's unintended consequences. And so I'd like to, to have that discussion. Well, the, the ordinance has been in place long enough to where it has some uh, experience with it. And so it certainly doesn't hurt to revisit it just to see what you can do. All right. Okay. Okay. Thank you.